Welcome back to the Kitchen Brothers channel. Today we'll be making a delicious cold salad. Simple and relatively quick to prepare. To prepare the salad we will need 1 kg of chestnut or regular mushrooms, a head of garlic, 3 large tablespoons of mayonnaise, 500 grams of orzo pasta, 2 bunches of fresh dill, also salt and pepper. First, we need to chop our mushrooms. You'll need a knife for this. But if you're missing something else like a bowl, you will need to bring it with you. Then we can start chopping the mushrooms into small cubes, approximately 3 mm in size. Let's get to the chopper! Next, take the dill. If you have it in bunches, simply remove the rubber band or tie. If it's in the pot like ours, cut the dill off. If the stems aren't too tough, you can also chop them. Transfer everything to a bowl and set it aside for later. The next step is peeling the garlic. Just give it a firm tap and the garlic will peel easily. Our ingredients are nearly ready. You can put about 3 liters of water on the stove and a frying pan for sauteing the mushrooms. When the pan is heated up, add butter to melt and cover your pot of water with a lid. This will make the water boil faster. Once the butter is completely melted, add the mushrooms to the pan. There can be a lot of them, but don't worry, the mushrooms will reduce in volume during cooking. Cover the mushrooms with a lid and stir them from time to time. When your water starts to boil, add the orzo pasta and immediately stir to ensure it doesn't stick to the pot. The mushrooms should release some water, which means they are cooking properly. If a pool of water forms in the middle of the pan, it means the mushrooms are not ready. However, if there is no more water in the pan, the mushrooms are done and you can set them aside to cool. Stir the pasta from time to time and check if it's cooked to your liking. Once it's done, drain it in a colander and immediately rinse it with cold water to cool it down. Be very careful or use a spoon to stir because the pasta might still be hot.
In the meantime, we would be incredibly grateful for any kind of engagement, whether it's a comment, a thumbs up or a subscribe. Once prepared, you can set the pasta in the colander over the pot to drain the water. When the mushrooms are cold, transfer the pasta to a bowl. Add the mushrooms, finely chopped dill and mayonnaise. Mix everything and then, using the garlic press, add fresh garlic. Since we didn't add any salt or pepper to the pasta or mushrooms, now add half a teaspoon of pepper and two flat teaspoons of salt. Mix everything again and voila! Your salad is almost ready. You can taste the salad and to your liking add more mayonnaise, salt or pepper. The salad tastes best when chilled for a few hours after preparation. You can enjoy it on its own or with bread and butter. Bon appétit!